Hello everyone, it's Daniel from 5G. Uh, I am uh, going to do the Wishes House quest in this video. Uh, this is a short quest of intermediate length. Uh, there's no prerequisites, however you will need uh, uh, cheese, uh, leather gloves, uh, and some uh, combat equipment and food. Uh, this quest was made in 2002, uh, not voice activated, old style, uh, this, uh, mostly manual prompts. Uh, you receive four quest points, 6,325 constitution experience, two treasure hunter keys as a reward for this quest. Uh, you start by speaking to Harvey, the crying boy, west of Falador. Uh, it's possibly easier to go to the Taverly Lodestone. Uh, and then head south, and I'll, I'll show you why in a moment. Uh, there is a faster way f uh, to Falador's uh, primary teleport sp uh, spot into the uh, to the market, but to the center. But I'm going to use it this way. The, um, the longhouse is here. Uh, the Falador uh, lodestone is here. And uh, there's a, an agility shortcut there, but I'm trying to show uh, the uh, potential start point without needing any agility level. So uh, that's why I use the Tower really Loads of Stone for this video. Uh, but the faster way is uh, Falador teleport to the market here, and then hop over the agility shortcut. And then uh, you'll end up right here. All right, and then the crying boys right here to start the quest. And then there's the long house with the, the big garden. So, uh, all right, so let's start the quest, right? Uh, talk to Harvey. The boy sobs. What's the matter? I kicked my ball into the hedge, into the garden. The old lady who lives there is scary. Uh, she locked the ball on her shed. Can you get my ball back, please? All right, so which is well, so it's a traditional, uh, I kicked my ball over the fence kind of a thing. Uh, you know, so you've seen that story in movies and you know, in some other places. Uh, you know, so uh, just re replicating that. All right, let me accept the quest and let's get this done. Uh, all right, so we'll start on the map, it highlights the entire um, house. Uh, because the entire quest takes place here. All right, so uh, let me organize my let me organize my screen so that I can uh, do this quickly. All right. All right, go to the front door of the house and look for the key in the potted plant. All right, so here's the key. Are right, we in the potted plant? All right. Uh, all right, so an enter. Uh, all right, so uh, climb down the stairs into the basement. So make sure you go down or not up. So this is the upstairs, and then the down is this. Uh, uh, here. All right, so all right, then uh, if you don't bring uh, leather gloves, you can search the nearby crates for a pair. So let me just see here. Uh, search crates, because I want to show how to get it. All right, so that's leather boots. All right, well, apparently if you, uh, it's giving random items, so uh, if you keep searching these crates, you'll eventually get uh, gloves. Uh, uh, there's another crate here and another crate here. You, you know, search them until you get it. All right, now take a look. Uh, you see the sparks here. All right, so this gate is electrified. All right, so you need leather gloves. So in this case, armored gloves will not help. Uh, like in another video uh, on the, the watchtower, uh, I didn't really need the leather gloves because the armor gloves helped. So 
Anyways, uh, leather gloves open the gate. All right, so now uh, I'm uh, inside the um, like here. All right, so while wearing gloves, enter the gate, open these, open and search the cupboard. Uh, which cupboard? Uh, open the gloves. Uh, uh, open and search the cupboard straight ahead on the western wall. All right, here we go. Search the cover, you'll find a magnet. Why isn't that attractive towards the electric metal gate? Mm. All right, different story. Uh, so oh, open and search the cover and off the wall. Go back, uh, go back up the stairs. And uh, all right, so while wearing your metal, uh, no, no metal, while you're wearing your leather gloves, open the metal gate. All right, go back up the stairs. I can put my metal gloves back on now. All right, there is a cheese right here on the table. So if you didn't pick up your cheese before you started the, the quest, uh, there's one right here. All right, so uh, go to the room on the south end of the house. Use the cheese in the mouse hole. All right, so... Used, ah, uh, crap. I guess I'll be needing the, that cheese after all. Be careful not to eat the cheese like I just did. Right click, use cheese on mouse hole. All right, and then the mouse runs out. Use the magnet on the mouse. Uh, you attach the, uh, the, uh, the mouse. Uh, the mouse finishes the cheese and runs back into the hole. You hear some odd noises from inside the walls. There's a strange whirring noise from the door frame. Alright, so uh, I guess uh, that did something. Uh, Alright, right. Um, anyways. Uh, exit the door and make your way to the fountain, being careful not to be seen by the witch. Strategically walk. Uh, behind the shrubs to make sure to stand in the middle space of the shrub. If you are caught, you will need to repeat the process involving the magnet and mouse. Do not try to search. It will likely result in being spotted. Check the fountain for a key. Alright, so out. Right, there's a hedge here. Alright, so... Uh, let me see. Where is the fountain? All right, so we need, we're supposed to go all the way around and check the fountain. So we'll wait for her to pass. All right, wait for her to pass. Remembering to stand in the center. Right. Check fountain. Uh, you found you discover a secret compartment with a small key inside, which you take. All right, so then uh, heading back to the shrub. All right, she's not looking ahead. Here, all right, wait in the center for her to pass. Uh, this is three spaces wide, so you stand it by the center space. If she sees you, you get thrown out. You have to go back inside, get the magnet. Right. And then use the magnet again on the mouse. So, all right. Uh, run down east uh, to the shrubs in the sh uh, shed, being careful not to be caught. I use the key and unlock the door. Try Try to take the ball, the experiment will appear and attack you. Kill the experiment four times. 
All right, so here's where the combat's involved. Kick bell. My bell. All right, so. So the first one was a check gun, the second one was a spider. I should say it was a thing die yet. Okay, die faster. Alright, so now it's uh, bear. This is unbearable. Ah, that jug. Let's see. What are you, chicken? Oh. <laughs> it's a bit sea spider. Oh, sorry. Um, horrible. Um, what is this? A, w a wolf or a fox? Or Alright. Let me see if it tells. Wolf. So the first form is a chicken, the second form is a giant spider, the third form is a bear, the fourth form is a wolf. Alright, so... Alright, so kill the witches experiment four times. Uh, Alright, so you can kill them with water spells easily, or uh, take a moment longer, I, I did it with Millie. So, but if you want to use water spells, you can... All right. Uh, you may need uh, take the ball. You may need to take it. Take it again. Okay, word of caution: Make sure you take it again. Uh, because um, I didn't actually take, and I got it before. So. Okay, teleport back to Harvey and give him the ball. Alright, so I, I can just teleport out. I'm going to show you the other method to the house. I'm going to use the Fowler Loadstone. Alright, and then if you use a Fowler Teleport, uh, either a Teleport tab or the, the Mage spell, uh, teleport the Fowler with one law, three air, and one water. Uh, you end up there, and then uh, you can just run to the crumbling wall, and you need the agility to get over. So, uh, so you can decide if you have the agility level that's faster to use Valador. Uh, if not, you need to use the tower really loads them. So, all right. So then, talk to her. You give him the wall. Quest complete. Uh, you got four quest points, six thousand three hundred twenty-five construction experience, and two treasure hunter keys. All right, so that's that's done. I don't need these gloves anymore. Uh, oh wait a minute, that was constitution. All right, I read construction. Sorry. Uh, six, uh, forty-five constitution. I got now. Uh, all right, and then I got the two treasure hunter keys, which I will open. All right, so there's a uh, uh, herb large star. star and a mining large star. Right, so I can just you know, claim both of those. And there's my reward. Your your rewards may be different. Uh, the treasure hunter uh, picks based on uh, random. Uh, and then it's given me a flashy arrow. For some reason, it activates another uh, another quest um, automatically after we complete. Um, so you can just open the quest dialog and turn off the arrow. Uh, so, all right. Anyways, this quest is complete. It was a fifteen-minute, uh, slightly under fifteen minutes. I will see you in the next video.